Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we continued this town hunting for the seal and actually got uh, two more of the components done, the, the Ancient Guardian's uh, body parts, I guess. And we next have to, of course, um, uh, get this last one. This one seems the most likely to be able to complete, unless, of course, we happen to get a bunch of places to sell the right uh, um goods the right to luxury goods and then maybe we could get this one uh that one 35 cis we're never gonna have after all this time we only have seven right now and we can't even use any of the clearance or storm water really or at least not much of it because we're trying to save them up to get a hundred of each for this um so i have a clearance burning just at one tick right now which is the uh just just the efficiency the speed uh, but I would love to be able to burn it too, like I usually do, but we can't really right now. Uh, I have two in there, but I have so many workers, it's ridiculous. But with the 56 people we have, we could put up our fourth hearth and uh, <clears throat> have four hearths at level two. We would not be able to get this one to level three. Do I care? Maybe I don't care if that's level three. Maybe I don't care about that at all. In which case, we could do it without taking any more people. Otherwise, we need just six people. This group has nine, so we could easily get it. Um, but I think we should at least do that other hearth. So let's get that started over here. And we need to push it way back here in the corner because, well, that's the closest we can get it. And then uh, we could do... We have a warehouse there, so we don't need to worry about that. We could put in our uh, housing here. And we could, make, we could move some of these or, or delete and rebuild some of these over there. And that would be good. And I have a frog in my throat, so excuse me for that for just a second. Okay, I'm back. And so I think we can just go ahead and proceed now. Um, yeah. I would like to put the blight post out here. Uh, it's been commented that I might be needing it soon, and uh, you are correct. I will be needing it soon, so let's put that out here. I'm going to wedge it over here, I think. And then maybe I'll put a road in here or something. It would be short on planks and bricks. Ooh, that's good. How many, by the way, how many um, parts do we have left? Plenty. Okay, good. What do you got? Oh, a trade to turn in. Uh, stone, no, because we're not really getting any stone in. We're still waiting on this, which needs planks. Uh, we should be cranking out the planks, though. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to deliver them. Okay, you can deliver those, please. Uh, this is fully staffed, so we'll have that plus 10 carry. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on, on bricks then, really, which is here, which is also fully staffed. And we just need them to carry that, too. This woodcutter is bored. I don't really feel like cutting any more of those trees, though. We could send them back here on the big uglies. We need to, though... Oh, we need to get started on that. Right, we need to get ready to put in... Uh, to, to do the, um, the double... The double forbidden within 20 minutes or something ridiculously long uh what is it again 1200 seconds yeah 20 minutes that's two years apart we could easily do that that's no problem so let's um let's do this and do just a few of these big uglies here not not that one do just a few of them not all of those either uh just hold down control here too uh nope not those either I'm getting a little wet, wonky here with my, uh, there we go, with my, um, modifiers there. Uh, let's see, all three modifiers being used at the same time. So, uh, I was also, oh, we could take this. Yeah, we should take this, for sure. It was suggested that maybe I should take, um, some extra food, because we can't make biscuits and we can't make pie, still. Um... We could also take uh, thing, other things we can't make. Oh, I need to reactivate the skewer recipe in the butcher also. Uh, I was also pointed out that I needed to do that since we finished the jerky thing. Uh, so we could take some of those. We are making pickled goods, although it's coming in slowly. Um, we could sell this. We could sell some of those. Yeah, let's take... Um, how much of the whole thing? That's a lot. How about half? Half of each would be half of that much-ish. Uh, there we are. And then we can sell this. Oops. Sell this. Sell all of these. Yeah, we're making these out of flour. We can sell those for sure. To make those. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. Do I want to sell this? 
Maybe some of it. Let's up these again to like three quarters, maybe. What happened there? Oh, I hit the max button. That's still not all of it. Let's, um, you know what? Let's just go all. And then I'll just sell this to balance it out. 43.20, 43.40. That'll work. So extra good food would be extra good. Um, hostility dropped? Oh, because I bought the thing. Right, of course. Forgot I bought it already. Uh, trade route complete. Let's turn that in. And we're going to sit on those until the next storm. Uh, we've got some more coin back, though, of course, because I turned that in. So you, woodcutter, can come up here and also help with this woodcutter. And uh, I'm just going to put it on top of this farm for right now, or this field right now, because I'm not going to focus on this that much, I don't think. Since we have the other stuff going, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Plus, we probably don't have the stuff to rebuild it right now anyway. Planks. Yeah, no. Uh, this group, I think, will just turn in the meat for the coin here. Um, instead of trying to bring in six more people. If I'm going to do that, I might as well just take this group, because they bring stuff. And we could do that. Uh, I still have 10, uh, 10 non-working people, though. And I have one... Oh, they're just finishing that. Okay. Oof. There's the last of the housed... Housedness. I have one... I have one short. A human. All right. Well, let's put that house in... Out here, then. Uh, they can't build it yet, but they'll build it shortly. Do I want to bring these people in? That's the part that I don't know. We're going to use six of them here. Uh, do we have any use for these guys? None, because they're all big, big nodes out here. We have these two people, though, which are going to be free in just a little bit. So I think... I think not. Uh, we need to also prep this corner to cut in, too, also. Um, where's my other woodcutter at? Over here? Where's my other woodcutter? Come down here. Use the arrow button, Wally. Oh, right there. Uh, you're just about done with that task, which I don't think I'll need now. Uh, no, I won't, I won't need that now. I, d I don't want to bring in more people because I don't want more mouths to feed if we're not going to use them. And with ten free people, I don't think I need them. Unless, of course, there's spots somewhere that I could use them. Like, we could use more people in the Tinker, but I don't have that many jobs here. We could make those, but we don't have that much... Well, we do have some metal, actually. Um, we could make some tools, I suppose. Just in case we need them for something. Uh, you can use either. Let's put another beaver in here. Uh, that mine needs... Oh, that mine needs those four beavers. Right, so maybe I do want to bring them in. I'm waffling really bad. Plus, if I bring them in, I won't have housing for them. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I don't know if we can get enough stuff done to get this housing going or not. And then the, the skewers that I forgot about three times in a row. Do we want to make oil? We could turn it on. We're not going to make any because, well, we don't need it because we have 35, but we want to turn it on anyway. And then you all can move... Oh, I remember what I wanted that for. You all can move over here someplace. Let's remove some of these uh, roads. One of these roads, anyway. Um, I wanted this space for the decorations for the level 3. That's what I wanted it for. And maybe I still do. Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and do a minimum amount here. Uh, control, shift. Just do, like, a few trees right here. We're not going to hit the big ones because we're going to want to open the glade up. Uh, this one will be the longer-term one, because we're doing all the big uglies. Although we could skirt alongside them with, uh, you know, other things. But, um, yeah. Let's get ready to load this up. Nope, I should bring those people in. I don't have housing for them, but I should bring them in anyway. Uh, we're gonna have to house them all now. Don't have the planks, though. I don't have the planks. I might have to put in crappy houses. Um, I don't know the wildfire essence for this. Crap. You sell wire oh you sell wildfire essence. Let's buy how many can I buy? Holy crap, I have 76 packs of provisions. Let's buy four. One two for a hearth for now and two for something for later. Uh let's I guess give away all my gold and whatever provisions I need to give away to give away more provisions. To get enough stuff here. I almost missed that. Oh man, that would have been bad. 
Okay. Let's get that done. And then we can put in some more housing here. Uh, let's start with the lizard houses, I think. Yeah, yeah. We need two lizard houses. Hmm. Okay, I'm being a nerd now. Nobody was surprised. There we go. Two lizard houses, uh, two beaver houses, one beaver house, and one more human house. Well, that'll be good. Right there, and then one of these in here someplace. Can I see the front door? There it is. We don't have the planks for it yet, but we'll get them. This, we can make... Oh, we haven't been harvesting this in a while. Uh, so where's my stone cutter at? You're over here. Do we have... We do have some more... Of that. What do we have with clay? We have none. Because we're turning it all into bricks. And what's my color right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's put a storage in out here. And I think it needs to kind of go like this. Put it right there in that corner. Warehouse. Their house. Um, and then we need decorations out here, too, of course. Start with level one for now. Um, that'll be fine. Do I want to keep going with the clay, or do I want to move them back on the other things? That's the big question. Um, we can't make coal, so I guess we want to use this, at least for the time being. Am I letting them burn that as fuel? I am. Let's turn that off, and let's put a lizard in here. And let's put a lizard in here. Let's set this to 10. And then you went and grabbed it all, I assume. You did. Okay. There we go. Uh, planks. Uh, let's prioritize planks. Two here. Two here. Two here. Just to be fun. I'm going to switch it to lizards. Okay. And then uh, we'll crank out the fluids here. Uh, that one we can probably turn up. But I think I won't. I'll let it run at one tick. All right. We don't want the forester's hut that I can never remember the name of. I called it the, I called it a grove in uh, chat yesterday, or the last episode. Uh, let's see. Forum. We can make this. We can make that. Maybe then. The tavern... Gets us plus three. This gets us double yield chance. Explorer's Lodge gets us plus one to global resolve for every rebuilt or salvaged ruin. We could get two global resolve from that. This gets us those two, which takes care of lizards and uh, beavers. Oh, by the way, humans and beavers are all happy. Um, this would take care of humans and beavers. Beavers again. And this would take care of humans and beavers and beavers again. I should probably do the Explorer's Lodge then, at least for that reason. How are we doing on training gear capability of production? That's where the stone comes into play. Yeah, and the planks, of course. Um, still, I think we should probably do this Explorer's Lodge. So let's get that figured out. Ugh. Where the heck am I going to shove this? I could have shoved it there if I had to save myself one more space. Oh, I could shove it right there. There we go. Move this again. I can probably just delete it at this point, maybe. I'll just shove it there for right now. Uh, Explorer's Lodge. I never did build a beacon tower, either. I suppose I could, but it just costs too much. Well, it doesn't actually cost too much stuff. It only costs two of each. That's fine. It's fine. Actually, let's just do that. Complete that road. Um, not you. This one? That means we're going to want to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it, just because. Uh, but we don't have the planks for it, so I can't do it yet. Could really use some planks, y'all. 
Planks, please. Thanks. You're welcome. I could probably put up another lumber camp, though. That's a possibility. Could do. Do I want to? I could do. Is there a better place to put it than where I was just going to? Yeah, we could put it over here, maybe. It's not bad. Let's do that, too. Uh, you're bored again, but we're going to pop this glade, so I think I will pull you out of there. Um, or you could work on some of these big ones. Just those two, then. That's fine. Beavers and humans are super happy. We really don't need two of them in there. But I don't have another job for them to do, so it's not like it matters that much. These are all full now? Yeah, that's fine. Leave them there. Uh, we could, though, use a little bit more. Although we're not actually even running those two. Doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, we got this done finally. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that in. Gets us 40 more food and some barrels, too. Uh, that's good. Um, for this, we needed scrolls, right? Let's, let's turn on the more scrolls here. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. Uh, we could turn it on, I guess. Uh, that's good. That's really good, actually. And you can use that, too. That's good, too. I think that's all stuff we picked up, though. So we're going to want to take care of that. Uh, make planks here and throw a couple of beavers at it. I'm not going to do the, do the connection because I don't have the that turned on yet anyways. So we'll just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yep, planks yet? No. Where are we at with planks? Oh, so I never sped the game up either. Halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Two, four, six, eight. You have twenty-eight. Let's turn some of these down. Why do I have so many? Oh, because I needed this. I needed the housing. Uh, let's push who we got holes for here. Lizards. One lizard. All right, we can do that. There we go. That upgrades that to level one. Then we can be ready to do level two in a little while. And by a little while, I mean we can go ahead and stage it out. Just do another park here. And a uh, garden over here. Stonecutter can move. Let's put you on this for a little while, because the mine should be giving us some clay. Some clay. Uh, occasional clay, anyway. Okay, we're up to 10 cysts, but that's still only 54%, so. Plague of snakes. Villagers are horrified by the sights of venomous snakes. The sight of venomous snakes on the roads. Minus five to global resolve. Youch. All right, how's that gonna hurt lizards? Of course, but we could almost favor. Almost. Almost. What can I do to help the lizards? Um, I could do this. Oops. Uh, nope. This. Gotta be careful with this idea. But I could be. I could do this and be a little bit sneaky. Is that enough? No. What is this, by the way? Yeah. It's not going to make that much of a difference. It, it improved by one uh, resolve. But they got a long way to fall. So I think it's okay. And let's go ahead and get this glade popped over here. You? That, that tree and then that one. I think that's a big one, though. It is not. Perfect. Now human resolve is low. That's a little bit more dangerous, um, I suppose. Forbidden Glade discovered. What do we got over there? We've got Fishman Lighthouse. Medium abandoned cache, large abandoned cache, more copper, more drizzle water, more reeds. Okay, well, we could use the reeds anyway. We have a board harvester over here, so we could easily do that. Board harvester. Uh, I think I'll do the ones here that are closest to the the, the driveway here. Um, just because. And then this. 
we could definitely burn this down. To cleanse this would give us one impatience point, which wouldn't be a big deal. But it would be an infinite source of sea morrow. Uh, do we want the stuff? The clay and the bricks could be nice. Well, the clay could be nice. The bricks we actually have. We could easily do this. Do I want to do this? I've never cleansed this, I don't think. So maybe we should do it. We don't need loyalty. We need empathy, right? Empathy. Yeah, and I missed one of them. Empathy. So we could do this. I mean, one additional point of infamy means we get a little bit lower hostility. So that's kind of helpful. Um, what do I want to give away here? Uh, could be the oil. Could be the scrolls. Let's do the oil, I think. And assign workers to it. That would be useful. Go. Oh, I can't do that yet. That's 1,200 hostility. Oopsie. Cancel. <laughs> that was... That was level... <laughs> it's level 17. That was a bit much. Oops. Uh, let's let this finish first. <sighs> I should have looked at that. This one is 150. That's 300, so... Uh-huh. Humans are unhappy now. Can we actually handle this? We actually can't. All right, we're just gonna burn this sucker down then. Forget it. Burn it down. Uh, you all can take down these last two big uglies right here. Oh, right, there's four of them here. Even better. Uh, we need to get this road through here though, so let's do that. I should have built a storage here, a warehouse here, but I didn't. Oopsie. Uh, throw a couple of people at this. I, we need to do the cornerstone, of course. Two ember for every 20 sea marrow produced. That could be useful right now. Packs of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through traders and trade routes. We already have one of those. Not that we couldn't take another one. And we never got a copper bar recipe. Let's do this one just because it's kind of fun. Uh, even though we're burning this down and blah, blah, blah. It's fine. Um... Why not? Two people, come and get it. And then there's a medium one here, too. There's 30 oil we can have back. And some more... other stuffs. Um, actually, let's just wait on this one. Let's put that warehouse out here. Since I forgot, we'll put it in here now. This will be fine. The two workers we have free. Oh, I need to pull these out too. You're done. You're done. Now we got eight workers free. Look at that. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Okay, so these houses, we can knock them down if we replace them over here. And I'm not going to take another group of people. And I forgot to look at, at trades earlier. Uh, we could definitely do that. It's a decent enough deal. This one, no. This one, no. We could do that. We'd only be able to get one of them in, though. But why not? Let's turn that in, too. Oh, there's four. There was four, uh, whatchamacallits. Oops. I forgot about those. You got nothing. You got nothing. Alright. It's fine. Good. You're all working on this. Let's see, can I move maybe one of these into this opening? There I can. And then this, I want to steer outward like that somewhere. It's as good a place as any. We'll shift you up closer here as well. Like that. And then we'll get these glade events done in relatively quick succession. Uh, seven or six? I don't think we need anybody, really. But I can always sit on it for a while. Let's see. I don't know that we'll do anything with this glade once this is done. Oh, we need to upgrade a mine. Uh, this one I don't think I'm going to upgrade. I think I'm going to remove this one, actually. But I will upgrade this one. Or I could put a new one down out here. Um, upgrading is going to cost what? 20 building materials. Building costs... Six building materials and two parts. Let's just do this. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, because. And I'm going to delete this one and never use it again. Um, and then I can put a road in. Because, I mean, yes, these are depleted, so we kind of don't care. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, so when you upgrade it, you get access to the rest of the charges. Gotcha. Close that, close that. Close that. Good timing. Wait. Did I click it just slightly too early? No, it's the same... It was just the same copper one near, near the top. Uh, that's an okay deal, but that's, that's basically all my jerky. This one is... Also an okay deal. Actually, that's a really good deal. Guess we could do one of those. And then here... We could do... Three of these. Do I want to do three of those? Why not? See what happens. They did build that storage. Probably should have rotated this the other way. That would probably been the smart thing to do. Oh well. Can't do it now. Can't move it either. I could rebuild it, but can't do anything else with it. Yet. You know. What do you got? Oh, let's see. We could use the mushrooms, I suppose. We could use this, I suppose. Biscuits can be made at the kiln and the rain mill, neither of which we have. Bummer. Um, we don't have bugs. We also don't really need bugs, I don't think. That's a few herbs. What are we making the packs of... I'm well, not making any packs of provisions, but what would I be making the packs of provisions out of? Yeah, let's not do that. What do you have? Oh, you have roots for that reason. All right. I think I should buy the um, mushrooms for sure. Buy the eggs maybe too, because we could pick, <coughs> excuse me, pickle them. And sell these, which is a lot of money. Uh, what do we want to buy from you to make up for that amount of money? Berries, I suppose. Although what are we gonna make with them? We can't make biscuits or pie. Um, I don't really feel like I need grain. Better off with the roots, to be honest. Vegetables, we could pickle those. That's actually kind of perfect. I kind of like it. Let's do it. And then you, I think. Plus one global resolve is nice, but it's not that much. Uh, so pickled goods. Pickled goods. Here... Don't pickle mushrooms. Pickle these instead. Let's send the mushrooms back. And the roots we're making root beer out of. Yep. Okay. Go. And I forgot to turn these all back on again. Which won't last long, but I'm going to do it anyway. Don't need that one on. Maybe that one. Should do this one. Yeah, let's just do it. Why not? All the chimes. This just finished. Yeah, that just finished. All right. We would have won this game had we been playing a normal game, but alas, we're not. Uh, give me three people to rebuild this, just so we can get that extra whatever it was credit. Uh, global resolve credit, I think. And then let's throw the other four of you in here for now. Might as well. Get some clay out of it. So Hilda's leaving? Goodbye. You're working on that last tree right there. We are at our, we're counting down our 20 minutes, which won't be a problem. We'll open this late up as soon as we um, can. Put that road there instead. For reasons. And I'm glad you're chopping away at that... That big ugly tree right there because we need to get that one out of our way. Feels like we're a little close there, but we're not. Trades. 
I sh probably shouldn't have turned them in yet, but that's fine. I'll just try to remember. I know you have no, no fields nearby. It's fine. I don't know that I want you even here. But I guess... I guess it wouldn't hurt. Um, I would rather move it over there, though. Yeah, I would rather move it over to this one. If we're gonna if we're gonna use it, we'll we'll spend the one plank to move it. But I need to borrow one of these um, woodcutters for just a moment. So this one, come on over here. Give me that tree and that tree. There's two small ones, so they won't take you very long. We're gonna move that over there, which means that we need to farm these fields. Oh, uh, I forgot all about doing water. Two, four, six. And we're almost out of clearance water because of it. But the storm water is a little bit more important. Most of our buildings need it. So it's a good place to be, I guess. Okay, you're bored now. I'm gonna put you here for just a moment. You can chop at a couple of these here. And so can you. That's why I wanted that road moved. Plague of Mysteries. The sealed ones possess the power to control almost everything. Negative force mysteries require a lower hostility level to activate during the storm. Well, that doesn't really matter because, well, we have... Um, our hostility is too high for any of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, two humans get in here, start plowing. And you're done, bored. Yeah, you can come up here and help with this task, I guess. But I don't need to have it pause for that, I don't think. Stonecutter needs to move. To you cleared that already? Wow. Okay, zoom in. Uh, go ahead and just clear these then, I guess. Like that, maybe. Uh, I've turned toward the road, that's fine. Clear that clay. Uh, that was just you, right? Yes, just clay. Yes, okay. Trades. Could trade some ale. That's a good enough, good deal. Uh, pottery, eh, we could. That's a good deal. Do I care at this point? Maybe, but not going to do that. Let's do two of these. Sure. Should I do one or more potteries? I could do two of those also. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Okay, so we're going to pop this open. Um, when do I want to do it? Soon. Very soon. Got a lot of bonuses here. Cornerstones. Human resolve is low. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we can always favor. That would be fine. Let's go ahead and mark these trees like that. Yes, it's three wide. It's fine. Okay, one of you come down here. Two of you come down here. Playing on the distance here a little bit, but I'm also going to do this. I think that's still in range. Maybe for one of the trees or so. There we are. All right, so we have a destroyed Rainpunk foundry. Cooperage, medium abandoned cache, large abandoned cache, copper, large meat, large bugs, and sea marrow. All right, we will let the storm end, just like it just did. Uh, clear that stuff. Let's see here. Um, every 90 seconds, a blood flower will appear near the Rainpunk foundry. Okay. Uh, we could also... Ooh, we have 24 tools, exactly. And do we have... We don't have the vessels. We could almost have them with the water skins. Should we restore this? We could make parts and wild essence there. But also, by completing this, we win. So who cares? So let's just do this one. This will let them get, to get it started right away. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, I would do this if this wasn't literally the last thing we need to do. So let's just do that. Uh, road. We're going. We need roads. Uh, you can come back down here now and take out a few of these. Oopsie. Uh, not those. That'll be good. Uh, then you all can move back down here. And keep working on those ugly trees. Ooh, this. 
Two packs of provisions every 10 herbs produced. Do we have that one? We had a, one or two packs of provision ones, I think. Uh, if we were making biscuits, if we ever got baked goods, that would have been nice. Scouts work faster in glade events for every firekeeper assigned to the hearth. Sure. <laughs> we should cut that time down. Just for fun. Because right now, it doesn't matter. Uh, how about this? We could take that. We could take that. We could take any of these things. Uh, I don't have the, really have the people at this point to do those, but I can also pull these ones out. Two, four, six. Raid route complete. And... Doesn't matter. I'm not even bother, gonna bother setting up another one. I'm not even gonna bother setting these up either. You guys will be done in one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, and then we can uh, win this game. Turn that in, though. There's your blood flower. A couple people come and go ahead and work on that just for fun. More fun. Although, no, who cares? We don't want you eating my food. You know, I have a lot of food. Um, and we have 10 minutes to solve it, so who cares? I'm going to leave it up. Maybe another one will spawn, and we'll have two Danger Glade events um, spawned. Isn't that an achievement or a... Uh, what should I call it? Might be. Might have already gotten it. Might not be in this case. Oh, I gotta pull those guys back out. They don't complain. Don't complain. And you... 20 seconds. Alright. Oh, there was that one, too. Uh, that wasn't too deep, either. But we got one, so that's good. It's fine with me. This was a Forbidden Glade, right? Yeah, Forbidden Glade event. And we won. We have the Forbidden Essence. Let's come over here. And click the button. Acquire. Alrighty. So, we have the Silver Seal. Nice. And we have... Um, it's weird. We have all the things here. Uh, all the the, the uh, experience points here. We have 84 more food stockpiles and four um, seal fragments. And let's uh, go back to the world map, because I took pictures of the seal closing again while it was closing again. All right, so now we have to end the cycle. Um, we still can't click on these. Oh, here's one over there, too. Uh, here was a flooded mines. This one gets you two more hostility points per villager, scaled by difficulty. That's kind of an interesting one. Um, but we have obviously long since, um, long since passed the end of this thing here. So let's go ahead and finish the current cycle. Silver Seal gave us a bunch of stuff. The 22 seal fragments give us some stuff, but it's not that much. I guess it's it's one per one food stockpile per seal, so we can remember these numbers maybe for next time. Um, one machinery for every two seals, and one artifact for every three seals, apparently. This gave us a lot more, but uh, food stockpiles, but not as much as the other things. So let's uh, let's go. Okay, so we're back in a normal cycle now. We have, um... Ooh, we have a, a possible Ruined Armory Abandoned Settlement tag team here. That could be interesting. They're both greens, though, so it's not... All destroyed settlement in your initial glade. The villagers would die when attacking a traitor. I've never done that one before. Never attacked a traitor before. We also have a Levitating Monument here. Move most buildings in your settlement. I like that one. That one's fun to play with. But we could do that Scarlet Orchard with these two. Uh, we also could click on this, go into the deeds. Recharge, reforge the silver seal gets us the veteran shoulder guards, uh, which is the decoration for the home. Uh, Aunt Lori's face lights up. We have the, we have the shoulder guards there, by the way. Reforge another seal. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, let's see, different seals, what the names mean. No, tell me. 
Masters and meddler. Ancients are masters and metallurgy. They forged tools and constructed architectural marvels with such efficiency that it seemed they could manipulate the very states of matter at will. We can barely create crystallized dew consistently, while copper smelting continues to pose a substantial logistical challenge for us all. But the ancients, they knew something we don't. A way to harness the extraordinary properties of rain to create the most durable alloys. Maybe someday we'll catch up to them, but for now we have to deal with the threat they left us. Aunt Lori lets out an amused sigh, but enough of that. Let's focus on the issue at hand instead. It appears you're finally ready to take on the gold seal. It'll be a tough one, but I'm sure you can handle it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, upgrades tree. Let's see. We can start way down here at the bottom of the uh, dim square. Uh, lower prices on the blueprints and perks sold by the traders. Following that, an additional trade route uh, limit. And then another discount, and then the starting ability for the beavers. That's pretty deep, but that's what's going on there. Embarkation bonuses for the three uh, building materials. And then the Brass Order faction. That might be a good idea to do, uh, because we're starting out with nothing. With no trade partners but the factions we have, plus the city itself. Larger storage could be useful as well. Uh, this tier is done for now. Um, here we have the training upgrade, timed orders, daily expedition, and then finally the uh, field kitchen. We could afford that one as well, but uh, just barely. Actually, we can't afford. We could get to that one. We, we can't even get to that one. Never mind, because we only have 18 artifacts. We need artifacts. You're crazy. Uh, and then, so we could get to this, though. Uh, we could also do the Blizzard starting ability, an additional cornerstone choice, uh, and then after that is a sacrifice cost decrease, which isn't that big of a deal to me. Or we could take the plantation as an embarkation bonus, which I don't really care about either. So for me, it seems like either getting to Brass Order, or getting to essential, getting to the Field Kitchen, or getting to the... Yeah, probably getting to this cornerstone choice would be the ones that I would do. Uh, we could do that, but um, let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, after this, we may I'm going to take just a little bit of extra time between this episode and the next one. Um, probably less than a week, but uh, probably just a few days. But a little bit of extra time instead of the every other day we've been doing. I'm going to play some different stuff for a couple of days and then I think um, we'll burn, kind of burn through uh, one or two of the games that are still being played and then we can bring Against the Storm back in. Um, but I'm gonna reduce, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here and then we'll see kind of what, what, what plays out. So let me know your thoughts on where to start and that seems like a fun one to start with. Uh, we could also do this one of course. Um, that seems like a fun one to do. And then also this will get us... Oh, actually, maybe we should do Levitating Monument to get some more freaking artifacts. Maybe we should. Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on the upgrades tree and anything else you have. And uh, we will come back in the next one and work toward that type of thing. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.